All right, welcome everybody to the training tonight. This is Lorette and this is The Learning Tube. Tonight we are going to talk about the power of press releases for traffic generation. Now, every week we try to bring you some new strategies, some cool tips, some resources, and so forth. And we always ask you for your feedback on what you want to learn about. And every time people are asking about traffic generation, right? So what we wanted to do is show you one strategy that we use. We of course use a variety of different tra traffic strategies in our business and with our clients. But this is one strategy that we've been using for years and it continues to work over and over and over again. It's one of those trusted and true things that just keep working. You know, there's a lot of times there's shiny objects of try this traffic strategy, it works for a short while, then it doesn't work. Then you gotta try and scramble and get something else. But this is something that always works, right? And it's been working for years and we keep doing it. So just out of curiosity, does anybody else do or use press releases in their business or their client's business or do you have experience using press releases? Anybody? All right, let's see. Um, I don't, not yet, not yet. All right, well, great. I think you will like this. Uh, Michael says he's used it in his prior business. Okay, great. All right, well, we're gonna talk about press releases and these are specifically press releases online. Now, you may have been familiar, you know, if you've been in this kind of marketing world for a while, you may have heard of press releases you know when you send it to like a newspaper but these are submitting press releases online and I'm excited that a lot of you haven't used it yet because you're going to see the power of press releases so first of all some of you may be asking what exactly is a press release and if you can show me an example of some press releases so on my screen I think there's a little bit of a delay uh, let's see, showing my screen is on, there it is. Yep, it's a little bit of delay. Um, okay, so these are some examples of press releases. So you can see these are local companies. It's a mixture of local companies um, right here. We have the Building Industry Credit Association launched an upgraded new website. So that's an example of this company letting people know they have a new website, which is newsworthy and worthy of a press release. Here's a new release. This company released an upgraded version of their connectable cafe, which has four solar panels instead of two, right? Another newsworthy information. So we've got here a staffing agency in New York joins Branded Blue Day set for June 10th. I saw quite a few companies talking about this Branded Blue Day. Not really sure what it is, but there's a lot of different companies that were participating in it and they did press releases on it. Here's another example. This is a local business that is has a new online shopping portal on their website. So once again, another example of a local business. These are local businesses using press releases. Now, if you go over here on the right, you can see here are some physical products. So this is a company, the Scottish Startup Company. They're launching their first line of sensual candles in the U.S. market. So they're launching a new product that, once again, is newsworthy. So here, it keeps talking, here's a real estate broker. Um, we've got a, another company that launched a sleep aid. So, you know, different reasons to submit press releases. Now, on the next screen that comes up, there's going to be a few more examples as well. And on these examples, these again, you know, show other local businesses that are promoting what they're doing. We have here some some president is attending a gala. We've got Onyx and Gall, which many of you are familiar with. He also uses press releases as well, and he is long, he launched his second edition of the Circle of Profit and did a press release on it. Now, if you keep going around, here's a con company launches a new website. Here's another person doing branded Blue Day, like I was mentioning before. Uh, let's see, uh, we've got you know a bunch of different companies doing uh, various press releases from local businesses as well as people selling retail products. Now let's talk about some reasons on why you would want to use a press release. 
Now, the first reason here is you can create web assets that rank for your name, company name, product name. It basically can be a great tool for reputation management. So you can basically create your own reputation online. So let's say you know your name is John Smith. You can create a press release saying John Smith was just awarded this XYZ award and write a press release on it. Now when they type in you know your name into the search engines, guess what's going to come up? Right? Something's going to come up saying John Smith just won this award. So you can create your own reputation around yourself, for example. You can create your own reputation around your company name, your product name, and so forth. So it's a great way to create web assets that you can create them on your own. It's also a great way to get targeted and relevant traffic from press release readers for traffic generation. That's what all of us are craving, right, is traffic generation. But the great thing about this is that it's targeted, right? It's targeted and relevant traffic. It's targeted and relevant traffic. Okay, so that means when people type in a specific keyword, they will find your release in Google, right? So they type in silicone spatulas or, or you know lawn care company in Orlando they find your press release right and when they find your press release it is targeted because that's exactly what they are looking for okay so Michael just had a question where does someone go to find these press releases great question I'm going to show you later but they're finding these press releases in Google and I will show you that so another thing is that Press releases allow you to have syndication across hundreds of different websites, right? So when a press release is released, what it does is it sends out notifications to all these different sites saying, hey, I've got this press release, I've got this newsworthy topic. If you're interested, pick it up, right? So these different sites, they'll, you know, they'll pick up the ones that they find of interest and syndicate it, syndicate it on their site. So the more popular your press release, the more interesting it is, you know, if these different, these different outlets find it interesting to their readers, they'll pick it up. So you have the opportunity to be syndicated across hundreds of different websites. And that's going to help you with link building, SEO, exposure, branding, all of that stuff is going to help because you're going to be across all these different sites, right? That is what is syndication. Another thing is press releases help you generate backlinks to your website. Now, if you guys are familiar with SEO, you know, when you're trying to get your website ranked in Google, you have to have backlinks to it. It's just an, another one of those trusted and true things when it comes to SEO. SEO does take a little bit longer, but backlinks is part of the strategy. And with press releases, you're going to get backlinks because all of these sites are linking to your website. The more credited websites that link to your website, it's going to help you move up in the search engines because Google is saying, wow, this must be a really amazing site if all these people are linking to it. So let me give it a little push and move it up in the search engine. Okay, so press releases help you with get you reputation management. You can create your own reputation. Helps you with SEO, traffic generation, link building, exposure, branding. So it helps with a lot of different things. Okay, so now the question may be, well, what am I going to write press releases for? Like, how can press releases benefit me? So these are some ways, some things that you can write press releases around. Let's say you have Amazon products, for example. You can write press releases around your Amazon products. You can write press releases around any of your local businesses that you work with, if you work with local businesses. Say you have Shopify products, you can work with Shopify products and write press releases around them, very similar to Amazon products. Let's say you're a Kindle book author, you can write press releases around that, that you've launched a new book, or maybe you know your main character was, was killed off and you could write that. You can say, you know, upcoming book is in the works. So all these different titles that you can, topics you can talk about with these press releases. And you can also write press releases for yourself as well. And many, many more. So you can literally write press releases on just about anything, right? Just about anything. So Olu's asking, can you write a press release on a launch of a training? Of course. 
if you just saw um, one of the previous ones, we showed that Onnit did one on he released a new product. So he did a press release on the new product that he released. So if you're about to release a new training, you can say, you can do a press release saying the training will be launching on, and you know, if it's a month from now, and you can send people to your website to opt in to get notified. Um, so they're on the notification list. And then you can do a press release on it actually launching, like it launched today. You can do a press release. And then you can do a press release after saying you had a successful launch. So you can do like three press releases all based around the launch of a product. Make sense? All right. So now, what do you write about? So let's say you have products, okay? You're selling Amazon products or physical products. Some things that you can write about is new inventory. So let's say you have, you know, new, like I had one of my products sold out. I was out of inventory for a few months. And I wrote a press release saying, due to, you know, overwhelming sales, we were sold out, but we finally, you know, received new inventory and it's now available on Amazon. So you can do new inventory. You can also do products, maybe you've reached a review milestone. So you can say, you know, the silicone spatula has, re has received 200 five-star reviews on Amazon. So review milestone. You can talk about new features. So let's say the silicone spatula has a new touch, cool touch grip. Uh, so you could talk about new features. You can talk about new colors. We had a product that I now have six colors, I believe, and I did a press release for each color. <laughs> so I said, you know, this product now has added the purple to its product line, and I did now it's added brown to its product line. So I did a press release on every new color that came out. Um, so Michael has a question here. Would it be better juice to go to a lead capture page or the home page with hopefully fill in your email on the side? So Michael, I would recommend actually doing both, right? So and see which one results in the best, you know, the best results. So you can do one that sends to a lead capture, and then you can do a second one that goes to your home page. Now, when you're sending people to your home page, ensure that you have retargeting on it. So once you have that retargeting, then you know that's going to help you um, ensure that you capture those people. Okay, so new colors. So let's go back to what to write about. Now you can also write about feedback from buyers. So you can talk about you know something. You know, one of our readers said that it's the best silicone spatula they've ever used, and you can write a press release around that. You can talk about upcoming promotions. Uh, we could we could talk about upcoming promotions, and let's see. You can talk about new ways to use the product. Now, William actually had a question here: which color had the best results? Actually, the brown had the best results because it was the most neutral color um, of my color uh, board that I had. So the brown did the best because it was neutral, and everybody said that it matched their house better. <laughs> um, and we actually, William, we had some really pretty vibrant ones that Alicia and I loved, um, but actually didn't sell that well. People liked the pretty boring, neutral stuff, which was interesting. All right, so that's an example of what to write about when it comes to products. Now, here's an example. This is actually a client that we work with, um, Grace Kennedy, and they sell food products on Amazon. And we did some press releases for them. And I'm showing you this as an example of things that you may not think you can even write press releases about. You can. You can find something to write about, right? So here, this one of their products is dry coconut milk powder. So we just said that dry coconut milk powder is going to be participating in an Amazon.com lightning deal. Remember, one of the things you could talk about is upcoming promotions, right? So here, this is they sell Jamaican jerk seasoning. They is a big hit with tourists because in our reviews, a lot of the reviews are tourists. So that's where we can write feedback from buyers. Here's something that's newsworthy. Their hot Jamaican jerk seasoning is outselling their mild jerk sauce flavor, right? So nothing, something there. Um, we talked about different ways to use the product. So we talked about the dry coconut milk powder is great for traveling. So different ways that they can use it. 
Here is, uh, we actually had somebody send a message saying how they're using the coconut milk powder in their emergency survival kit. So we wrote a press release on that. And then here we talk about, you know, we added a bonus to something. So they sell gray scotch bonnet hot sauce and it comes with a bonus ebook. So for example, if you, Olu, you are doing your training. So if you're training, you can even up until the launch of it, you can say, you know, blah, 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 launch is now included a new bonus, you know, XYZ bonus, right? So you can talk about bonuses that you're adding as, the, as it launches. Um, let's see. So here we had somebody feature us on a blog. So we talked about that as well. So these are just some examples that you could use when it comes to uh, selling physical products, right? Now, the next thing we'll move into are local businesses. So if you're doing press releases for local businesses, some topics you could talk about. You could talk about staff changes. So for example, you can say John Smith has now been promoted as the marketing director or something like that. You can talk about new products that the local business has, right? Or new services that they're offering. So, uh, you know, John's Lawn Care is now offering irrigation checks for the summer, right? So new services. You can talk about special sales, Father's Day, Mother's Day, President's Day. Talk about sales, sales that are coming up. Any awards or recognition. So maybe they won Plumber of the Year. So you could put that as an award or a recognition. Another thing is you can talk about product features or service features that a local business may have. You can talk about company milestones. Maybe it's their anniversary of opening in that location or a milestone, they um, a new franchise has opened in Orlando or anything like that about milestones for the business. You could even talk about community service. So you can say the business you know, participated in a food shelter over Christmas and you can do that for a press release as well. Now, here's an example. We own, I think many of you guys know this, we own a tour company here in Jamaica. And so I was using this one as an example of how, you know, it's a local business, probably not a, a common local business that you would be working with, but using this as an example of press releases that we created. And, and the reason why I wanted to show you this one is the power of using keywords in your titles. Okay, so when you're writing these press releases, something that's very important is to ensure that you have keywords in your title. And so here you can see some of ours are pretty obvious. So this one, it says tour guide companies in Jamaica. That is a keyword and we made sure that was in the press release. Here's another one, let's see. So our name is actually a keyword, Jamaican tour guide, right? So that is a keyword in itself. Here, right here, it says things to do in Montego Bay. That's a keyword. Um, Montego Bay Jamaica tour guide. That's a keyword right there. Um, Montego Bay Jamaica airport over here. Um, best, the best Jamaica tours. These are all keywords. Montego Bay Jamaica airport transfer keyword. Uh, best, the best Jamaica tour providers, tours providers. That is a keyword as well. So you can see how we strategically put keywords into all of our uh, titles when we are uh, creating these press releases. Do you guys understand that? Making sure that you have keywords in your titles. That's going to help people find these press releases in the search engines. So you're not only just putting in the title, but you're also putting it into the body of the press release as well. Got it? So got it. <laughs> All right, got it. Now let's move into writing tips, okay? Now some writing tips. So keep in mind, people are busy, right? You're busy, I'm busy. So although they're in Google and they're searching around, the whole thing that you wanna do is you want to make sure that you focus on what's in it for me. Keep that in mind when you're crafting these press releases. So people are reading these, but they want to know um, what's in it for them. So for example, in some of the press releases that we did for the tour company, we talk about doing uh, airport transfers are now available to Runaway Bay. So what's in it for them is that we are now providing a service that is going to get them to their hotel. We talk about one um, 
Another one is that we provide cell phone rentals. What's in it for them is that we're now going to be saving them money and frustration on their phone bill, right? So we talk about ways on how, you know, what's in it for them, as well as demonstrating how the product or service can truly benefit them. Is it going to save them time? Is it going to save them money? Is it going to save them frustration? Right? So how is this going to benefit them? And that should be something that is carried across in your press release as well. So another one is the more interesting the press release, the more syndication will pick up the story and more exposure and clicks for you. Remember I talked about when your press release is submitted, it goes out and tells people, hey, I got this press release. If you're interested, come pick it up. But people are only going to pick it up if it's interesting, right? If it's interesting. So the more interesting, the more exposure you're going to get. Another thing that you can do, a writing tip, is to tie it into something that's happening in the news, right? This is called news jacking. So if there's something happening right now that's like hot and people are talking about, it's the buzzword, it's trending, see how you can incorporate that into a press release because people are typing that into Google, right? People are typing that into Google and they're going to find news on like, you know, ABC News or, you know, all the top places and they're going to see your press release in there as well. Now, an example of that. So this is something that was actually done. We did this a while ago, but Sam Smith, I don't know if you guys know Sam Smith, but he is a Grammy award winner. I love his songs. He's a musician. Now, he won a Grammy back in 2015, and it was news because he talked about, he said that he's going to use his Grammy as a doorstop, right? That he's going to use his Grammy as a doorstop or a toothbrush holder. So we, one of the clients that we worked with um, sells doorstops, right? So we hijacked that and said, Superior Maker recommends Sam Smith not to use his Grammys as doorstops. Instead, buy one of ours, right? And instead, we want to send you one of ours. Please contact us, Sam Smith, so you don't have to use your Grammy as a doorstop. Pretty, pretty clever, right? So we kind of hijacked that news. Does that make sense? <laughs> so uh, that was, you know, one way that you can do some news jacking. Okay, so the next thing is we're going to talk about two key elements when it comes to writing your press release. So two key elements. We talked about the first one. Now the first one was the title of the release, okay? The title of the release. Now with the title of the release, you want to inc include at least one strong keyword phrase in, phrase in the release title. Now remember we talked about in that tour guide one, you saw how I had keywords strategically placed in all of those titles. The same thing with the coconut milk and the Jamaican jerk seasoning. Those are all keywords that people are using when they are in Google, right? So make sure you have a strong keyword phrase in press release as well as keywords in the body of your press release as well. Now the other key element to remember is the links embedded in the release. They are important for driving traffic and search engine rankings, right? So we usually do one link that goes to or the website. So you should have two links in your press release. So write that down, two links. So the first link, we usually send it to the website. And then the second link, we'll usually send it to a social media profile, like a Facebook page or a Twitter or something like that. So we give two different links. And it's a great way to increase your backlinks. We talk about the importance of backlinks with each release. Okay, so, and another thing that you can do is you can include tracking links in there as well if you want. Uh, but I like to personally just use the straight links um, just because I, I think that works better when it comes to the SEO and the backlinking. But we do use tracking links occasionally just to see the types of results that it's getting. Okay. So here are tools that you can use when it comes to keyword research. So the first one is adwords.google.com. That one is, that one is uh, very common and the best one that you should use, right? But you have to have an account with AdWords to use it. So you'd have to sign up with that. But then there's some two other ones. One is called serps.com, which is a great tool. It's free. 
You've got Keyword Suggest tool, another great tool as well. Now these are tools that you can use to figure out what keywords you should put into your press releases. So here's an example of things to do in Montego Bay, Jamaica. So it was the second one, it was the Serps.com. And I typed in uh, you know, the keyword, and that was, if you remember, one of the keywords that we used in our press release for the title, as well as the body of the press release. Now, it has 1,600 searches a month, which is not huge, it's not a lot, but if I can capture all those 1,600 people, then I want to, right? Then, I, then that's a good thing. Um, and here, the stuff here on the right-hand side, this is showing you the cost if you were to do a pay-per-click AdWords campaign. This is how much they're estimating it would cost you per click. Okay, so that's just an example. Then this is, they're showing you the estimate of how much it would cost you. Right, so that is um, a tool that you can use to find keywords to go after. Here's another one, the coconut milk powder. So this one had 1,300 searches a month. Once again, not a ton. Um, it really depends on the keywords that you're going after. So if you're going after like plumber in Orlando, Florida, not sure how many keywords that would be, but you could use this tool. I mean, how much volume that would be, but you can use this tool to help you see that. And it can help you figure out, so let's say we did, let's go back one. Oh, I didn't put on here. But there were some keywords that I thought were good, but was like 20 searches a month. <laughs> oh, that's you know, not even worth it. Um, but so this tool will help you make sure you pick the proper keywords. Okay. So now here we have some more writing tips for these press releases because it's important to make sure that these press releases are high quality because once again, you should have some certain elements that every press release uh, that every press release has. And you also remember want to make it as interesting as possible. So when you're writing, focus on creating a new story which suits the audience you're targeting. So who are you targeting? Are you targeting stay-at-home moms? Are you targeting working moms or working fathers? Who are you targeting? And make sure that the information that you're targeting is appropriate to them. Okay? So Oh, I have two people asking about the keyword research again. So let me go back. Were you guys looking for the links? Okay, so there are the, the links. Okay, so I believe that's what you wanted. So here are the links. The one that I the example that I gave came from this one, serps.com is the one that I just showed you. The adwords.google.com, that is, that is the top one, I would say, but you do need a Google account and a little, you know, bells and whistles, hoops to jump through to get through to that, but these two are quick and easy and free. Okay? All right. So back to the white writing tip. So, okay, so focusing on the story which suits your audience. Okay, the audience you're targeting, creating an interesting headline because headlines which encourage readers to click and read more. If you got an interesting headline, more people are going to click on it, right? Another one, include all key points of the story in the brief opening paragraph. So you got to hit them hard with that first paragraph because people's attention span is not very long, right? So you want to make sure that you tell them what it's about to get them excited to continue to read the rest of the press release. So after that opening paragraph, you're going to continue with additional paragraphs, providing even more info in the order of import importance. Next is to keep the piece short. So typically about 300 words, using short sentences and paragraphs of 60 words at most. So I don't know if you've heard this before, but they say when you're writing things on the internet, write at the level of a fifth grader, <laughs> right? Don't make it complicated. Don't make it this big, long, drawn out thing. Just keep it short, about 300 words, and easy to read. Write in a style that's appropriate for the publication. Avoid things that are really technical or specific things to the industry that other people may not understand. So just keep it simple is basically the concept there. Next is to include quotations in the release. So you should always quote somebody that it has to do with. So let's say you're writing a press release on uh, the plumber that won plumber of the year. So you would include a quote in there saying, 
We are so excited to receive this gift, this award as Plumber of the Year. We look forward to servicing our clients to the best of our abilities, says Dan from Dan's Plumbers, right? So just simple things like that, including quotations in your releases. Include an interesting and relevant picture. People like to see pictures. And a tip here is to include people in the picture. So let's say you're selling a physical product, a silicone spatula. It is proven that you would get more clicks, more shares and stuff if you have a person actually using the silicone spatula as opposed to a, a picture of just the silicone spatula alone. Right, so using the specific things versus just product shots get the best results. And finally, check your spelling and any factual information. You want to make sure that you come off professional, right? You don't want to have spelling errors or just saying things that don't make sense. Okay, so now I want to show you backlinks. We talked about the importance how press releases can bring you backlinks. So this is a tool. There is a free version and a paid version. And I am going to show you a, the free version really quickly and show you, let's see. Okay, so, so we are going to, okay, the screen should show up in a minute. And I just wanna show you the power of these backlinks. So backlinks, once again, help you with your SEO ranking. And um, we actually get a lot of visitors organically to our website. Um, one reason is that this site's been up for a while. Another reason is that we get so many backlinks from these press releases. Now, the more backlinks that you get that are from trusted sites, once again, Google sees that and that helps you with your SEO rankings for your website. Now, if you guys can see this, this is the last 60 days, and you can see these are backlinks that have, see it says anchor and backlink. Here is, this is a press release right here. So one of our tours was featured in a magazine. And so we wrote a press release on that, and you can see that these sites picked it up, right? Picked up that news, that press release, and that resulted in a backlink to our website. And these were just found, this one was seven days ago, eight days ago, 10 days ago, that these backlinks were indexed into Google. Now here you can see in this column, this is the domain rating. This shows you how strong is the backlink profile of the website from one to 100. So with 100 being that it's a highly credited, um, it's a highly credited site. Okay, so you can see 57, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Um, so, you know, 57, 57, this one is 68. Now, Michael, you were asking, why is this one crossed out? You know, I'm not really sure. Oh, it's a no-follow link. I don't know why they crossed this out. Not really sure. <laughs> but it still shows that we've got a backlink, and this is a highly credited site with this domain rating of 68. So you can see we keep going down, look at all these backlinks that it's generated, you know, awesome, awesome. And these are different press releases. So this one is about the food tasting tour. This one we did one that it's ranked fourth among tour guide companies, that's another one. This is a different one again. Um, so, and you can see I have the free version, so it stops. But if you upgrade, you can see 28 more results um, to see all the, different, you know, all these, you can see through here a little bit that uh, even more sites picked it up as well. So pretty cool, right? That it's generating all of these backlinks from trusted authority sites. So that's just showing you that it actually does work. <laughs> so uh, if any of you guys are familiar with SEO, that is a big deal. So um, yeah, pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool, what do you guys think? What do you think, Michael? Not bad, not bad, right? <laughs> so this is the site that I was on um, for the backlinks. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, so now we did, I'm gonna show you a test that we did. Okay, so this is a test that we did um, with one of my Amazon products. So we tested seven different keywords. So, 
if you're doing this, you know, you have the opportunity to do a bunch of different keywords. You could do, you know, one keyword and release seven press releases with the one keyword. So there's a variety of different um, a variety of different ways you can do this. But what we did is we picked seven keywords and released one per day for seven days. Each release had a different keyword. We started this on 512, and then I'm going to show you the ranking results of as of 610, which is almost one month later. Now, usually this is how it works. So you submit your press release. Once your press release is submitted, it usually you'll get all these different rankings in Google. It's like a little burst of traffic for about 72 hours. Okay, for about 72 hours, you're going to get, you know, lots of rankings in Google, you're going to get a burst of traffic, and then they kind of fall off usually. So, you know, it's a little short burst, and then they kind of fall off. But some do stick around, right? And I'm going to show you this a month later, the ones that did stick around. Okay, so this is keyword number one. Now, you'll notice I blocked these out, and the reason I block these out is usually when you show somebody, oh, that this product's doing really well, everybody goes and steals that product. So I just covered over my words and my keywords, but I still wanted to show you the results of it. So we actually have one of our virtual assistants I have her, you know, searching for these, making, checking for the results in Google based on the keywords. Now, how she does this is that she opens an incognito window. Not sure if you guys know what that is, but when you're in Chrome, you can open a incognito window, and that gives you a clean search. So there's no cookies, there's nothing saved. It is a clean search to make sure that you get your true ranking results. Now, this is um, keyword number one. Okay, so before we did any promotions, when we typed in this keyword, we would only see our listing for our Amazon product, which is still very good. We did lots of press releases to our directly to our Amazon keyword linking keyword. I mean, directly to our Amazon page, which gave it a lot of backlinks and traffic as well. So we're ranked very well uh, when people type in the keyword to see our Amazon listing. So they type in this keyword, page one, position three is our Amazon listing. Page one, position five is one of our press releases, right? One month later. So we've got the third position and the fifth position for this strong keyword um, on in Google. And then we have another one, page one, position seven, and page three, position one. So I've got three different mediums of this keyword with my product. Now, we're also gonna do another training on how we use blog networks and YouTube to get found in the search engines as well. So hold on to that one, that's another training. Uh, but you can see that we are trying to dominate, you know, that first page with different things, but all with the same product. So if you were to go to Google and you type in this keyword and you're like, wow, I see it as an Amazon listing. Wow, it's a press release. Wow, it's on this blog with a video. Wow, it's on here with the YouTube. You're like, this is a pretty awesome product. Look at all these people talking about it, right? Is that something that you guys would say? Do you agree with me on that? I <laughs> remember saying, yep, agreed, agreed. Yes, for sure. So now let's move on to keyword two, okay? So here's keyword two, and we've got page one, position two is our Amazon, position nine is our press release, and then we've got on page two on the top, we've got YouTube, right? We've got YouTube. And so once again, before we started doing this, you oh, we only had one listing, was that Amazon listing, right? Was that Amazon listing? So now let's go to keyword three. Look at all of these, right? We've got our Amazon listing and then page one and page two, we've got press releases. And then we've got our blog network, our YouTube and our blog network again. So trying to dominate the search engine with these keywords. Now we've got keyword number four. Look at this, we've got the Amazon listing, of course, that's the only one that we could find before. But now you can see page one, position three, press release. Page one, blog network. Then we've got three on page two. They're all pretty close to the top. It's YouTube, blog network, press release. But you can see the press release is always in there. Do you guys see that? Yeah, so a month later, we're still getting ranking in Google for these keywords with our press releases, right? 
Awesome, awesome. Now, when we just released it, remember the first 72 hours, all of these were press release. It was like press release, press release, all down that first page with these different places that picked it up. Now, keyword number five, here you can see the press release is actually higher than the Amazon listing, right? The press release is actually higher than the Amazon listing. And if you notice, the blog network and YouTube is not on here, right? And as soon as I saw that, I asked the assistant, why is it not on there? And she let me know we actually didn't put this keyword on the blog network or on YouTube. So that's definitely something that we need to go back and fix. Um, but still, you can see the press release, powerful, powerful for search engine results. Here's keyword number six. Check this out. This is page one is Amazon, and then we've got page two almost dominating. I think this one was a typo. I think it should be, I think, position four, I'm guessing. I mean, position five. But you can see the top of page two, we've got three press releases. That's impressive, right? So somebody, once again, looking is going to be like, wow, this is awesome right and another great thing about this is that when you mix up your mediums for people to see the product or service so for example we've got the blog network we've got the press releases we've got the Amazon listing people react to things differently so for example I may want to purchase based off a press release Michael may say oh I want to see this review video on the blog network and that's going to make me purchase and then somebody else may see the YouTube video and be like oh well you know that's a review video there on YouTube let me get through there so it's great to have a mixture of ways to reach people make sense okay so now this is the last one, keyword seven, and you can see we've got page one, page one, and page two with their Amazon, and of course we got that press release sticking right there. He's like, I'm not going anywhere, it's that press release. And then we have a YouTube video. So that is just um, great results. You know, like I said, that when you do it initially, you'll see a bunch of more results, but then a month later, they're still hanging in there. <laughs> so Michael says Amazon has my credit card one click purchase I know Michael it is so dangerous for me to have that one click purchasing because I buy way too many things I go to buy one thing and end up buying 10 <laughs> but yes Amazon is very powerful with that um, but yeah so here are some great rankings great results with the press releases so question is where do you submit these press releases well there are a ton of different places, honestly, where you can submit these press releases. There are free PR sites. If you Google them, you can find them. If you just say free press release sites, here are three that we've used. Um, so right there, there's also paid PR sites. There's the one of the most popular ones, I guess, would be PR Web. Um, but they're, they can be pretty expensive. So you can see it, this PR Web, for example, is $199 per press release. Press Advantage, you can do 197 a month with one PR a month. Newswire, you get two PRs, 159 a month. So, you know, you got free ones, you got paid ones. Of course, it's usually you get what you pay for, right? So, um, you know, the free ones aren't as great, but the paid ones are really good, but they cost a lot. Um, so, you know, one thing that uh, we would do is that we had a whole list of the free sites and we would give to our VA and the VA would submit to the free sites for us. Um, but, you know, I, a question for you though is what would it mean to you if you could get those types of rankings, right? If you could get rankings in Google for your products, for your launches, oh Lou, I knew you're launching something, right? For your products, for yourself, you know, if you're planning on launching something and the brand is under your name, people are going to start Googling you. So you need to create a reputation around yourself, right? So, you know, creating PRs around yourself, creating press releases for your clients, you know, depending on, you know, are they a local business or what do they do? Creating press releases for your clients, right? So, you know, what would it mean for you to get that done? Now, press releases, as I've just shown you, are very powerful and the problem, though, is that I know that a lot of you see the value in press releases. Do you guys see the value in the press releases? Hopefully I was able to show that to you and how you can use press releases with just about anything, right, with just about anything. So, you know, with that in mind, we know that it's a powerful medium 
And we know that a lot of you don't like to do things yourself. You'd rather have somebody do it for you, right? Done for you packages. We know that. We've been in this business for a long time. We know people like done for you packages. So, and I know that you guys want traffic. So what we did is that we put together some packages for you to offer this to you as a done for you package with our team, right? With our team. So here are, here's what we're offering you. So for $30, we will write and submit your press release. So we will find something newsworthy about your product, your service, your client, whatever. We'll also do the keyword research for you to make sure that you've got a good keyword. And then we will submit your press release for you through our distribution network. We have one of the top distribution networks and it gets syndicated through all the top sites as well. For $45, we will write and submit as well as doing 60 social shares. Now, social shares, what we do is that after the press release is syndicated, okay, so now it's like 72 days, ones are dropping off, the ones that are sticking, the ones that are staying, what we do is we take that press release and we send social signals to it. That means that we have this tool, we have a service that we use that people from all over the world share that press release through social media, and that is Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Tumblr, all these different places, right? So they do social shares. And when you do social shares, that tells Google that, once again, it tells Google, hey, wow, they must be really popular. Let me help this press release move up in the search engines, right? So it helps you with pushing it up a little bit more. So, you know, we go and we find the, the press releases that are just you know, maybe page two, page three, and we give it that little push with these social shares to knock it to go higher up. So that's what that means, the social shares, okay? So another thing is, um, another thing is the, is don't recommend just one press release. You can do one press release if you want, you know, if you just wanna do one, but we recommend doing a package of them, right? So what we did is we put together packages so here we have a package of five PRs and submitting, or five PRs submit as well as 60 social shares. So of course, this bottom one is like the mega package, the biggest value. Um, right here is the five PR submit and the 60 social shares, and we do all the work for you. We have a team that does this for us, like clockwork. I mean, that's what they do. And, um, and then we have a team that goes and finds them and does the social shares on them. And, you know, it's a system that, that they do. So, you know, if this is something that you're interested, here are the links that you can get it. And hopefully, you know, if you do get the product, if you don't get the package, hopefully, you know, this was an informative training that you can do it on your own if you want, but opened your eyes a bit to, um, opened your eyes to press releases and the power of them, something that's tried and true, right? Um, so let's see what, oh, and then also I wanted to just jump to this, you know, some important elements. Somebody asked this earlier on um, about where to send them. And I just wanted to make sure that, you know, if you guys are doing it yourself, but when sending people to your website, when you have a press release, make sure you have these elements, make sure you have retargeting in place. Right? So they go to your website. Now our tour guide company, we have retargeting and we do very well with converting people with our retargeting. So we want as many people to go to our website as possible because once they go to that website, they now got pixeled, right? And now when they surf the web, our ads follow them, right? So they're on wherever they are. You'll see an ad for our tour company saying, hey, visiting Jamaica, you know, here's blah, 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 and our banner, right? So make sure you have retargeting and make sure you have a lead capture um, for you to capture their contact information as well by offering something of value for them to leave their name and email. So, you know, if you do choose to get the package and you need that set up, you let us know about that as well. Okay, so let's see, what questions? Does anybody have any questions for me? Was this informative? I know a lot of you
weren't very familiar with press releases, and now hopefully you are familiar. Now let's see what kind of question. So, um, let's see. So if you're not ready for it, that's fine. Um, let's see. Let's see. So question, can you do press release on a foundation? Yes, definitely. You can do press release on anything. So if you have, we've done press releases on foundations. So you can do, you know, whatever is going on in the foundation, treat it just like a local business for sure. Yes. Um, so Suzanne says, thanks so much. I'm rebranding my business. Suzanne, this would be excellent for rebranding your business. So you can do a press release on rebranding your business. Do a press release when your branding is done. Do a press release on how people love your new branding. So uh, definitely, and create that reputation around yourself as well. Um, so can individual countries be targeted for the release? Yes, they can. So yes, they can. Um, so Yes, Carlene, that, that would be great. Uh, Michael, you said how to, yep, that would be excellent for press releases. If you're not ready for this right now, maybe your package is getting created or your products and created, that's okay. Keep these links in mind. Contact me when you are ready um, and we can definitely do this for you. So let's see. Um, Donald says, what is syndication? Syndication. I don't really know the textbook meaning for it, <coughs> sorry, but it's basically when your site gets sent out to all these multiple sites. So it starts with the distribution and it basically sends out a notification saying, hey, we've got this press release. If you're interested, come grab it. And then these different, you know, like Digital Journal and Fox News, they'll see, oh, this is a good press release. Let me pick it up. And they and now you're syndicated through all these different channels. Okay, so mass, right? So it gets distributed, mass distribution. Thank you, William. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so Facebook ads. Yep. So you know, I always talk about it's important to have a mixture of traffic strategies. If you're doing Facebook ads, don't stop. We do Facebook ads as well. Um, but you know, you should have a mixture of things. Just like I was showing you those results in Google, how we have the results for press releases, for blog, we, our blog network is in there, our YouTube channel is in there, right? Our Amazon listing is in there. So we have a variety of different things. So you know, have different ways, different traffic. Don't stop if you're doing traffic a different way and it's working, keep doing it. But add this into your toolkit as well. Um, let's see. I want to create freebies. Any hint to do it faster with free articles? So yes, you can do free articles as well. You're saying using the free article strategy. Yes, we've done that. You can do free articles as well. Um, but you know, when you're doing the press releases and they get syndicated, it just gets faster results um, and more accredited results. So a lot of times when you're doing free articles, you're, you're posting them on freebie sites, which may not have the same credibility as a new site, for example. Um, okay, so you wanna use the service to get 500,000 mentions. You wanna use it in conjunction with, yep, yeah, this can be used in conjunction with any service that you want. Um, it's definitely you know, a great tool to use. So, yes, all right, let's see. Any other questions that you guys have? No other questions? All right, so those are the links up on the screen. And once again, we'd love for our team to do this for you. This is, we got a team that focuses on press releases for our clients, for ourselves. So if this is something that interests you, hopefully I was able to show you the power of them, then um, definitely sign up and we are ready to get it done for you. All right, so take care everybody. Any last minute questions? No, okay, so if you have, um, once again, these are always recorded. So if you go to thelearningtube.com, you will see up in the top, it says replays. 
Um, it gives you a link to our YouTube channel, also gives you a link to some of our products that we have. So the learningtube.com, that has everything that you need as far as uh, replays and anything like that. Okay. Now about uh, signing up, if you want to sign up, you just go to one of these links and go ahead and make the purchase for it. Um, if you have anything specific um, that, you know, like a custom uh, package that you want, you can, uh, it, uh, Bill, you know how to contact me. You can send me a message on Facebook um, if you have some, you know, special requests. All right. All right, everybody, take care, and I will chat with you next week. Thanks again. Bye-bye.